Look at this guy. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the KR Moto channel. I'm going to be doing a review on a trackside universal wheel stand. I'm going to show you the schematics and stuff, and it's very easy to put it together. And I don't know how much it costs, but let's get to it. All right, guys. So here's the chart on what it'll fit, and it's for Aprilia, Buell, Ducati, Honda, Kawasaki, Triumph, Yamaha, Suzuki. And basically, this is what it gives you inside the package. It comes in this box here, as you can see. It's very easy to assemble. So basically, you got two pins here with the Carter pins that hold this. This actually flips up this way. And um, it's really easy to assemble. So you got like four bolts. You got these on each side. And then you got this bar here, which goes up underneath the triple tree. That's what I like about this thing. It goes up underneath the triple tree. And this comes with like, I think, six different size of pins. Um, I can look at the box, but basically, it's uh, this is a quick review. Basically, all this thing does is it goes up this part here. You just wheel up underneath the front wheel like this. You get this up against... The stand up against a triple tree underneath here, you adjust it, and all you do is you pop that thing down, and you're good to go. But basically, I just wanted to do a little quick review on this um, and show you what I got here. But I got it for, I got this all covered up. Also, um, I got this though for my, my Suzuki and um so i can actually put this thing on there that way i can lift the front wheel up off the ground and there's nothing attached to the axles or front axles or anything it doesn't do any of that and also i actually got for i got both these things for christmas so i'm not sure what they cost or whatever i'm not re really worried about that but you guys can look these up online it's a track side universal wheel stand and you can kind of see how it works there. It fits right up underneath the triple tree, lifts the front wheel right up off the ground. Also, I got a bike cover. It's the Oxford Aquatex. This is real good for like outdoors. Um, it doesn't have any installation inside here. It's breathable, it has a clip down here on the bottom. Down here, I just kind of want to show you guys this, so maybe later on I'll do a review on the whole thing, but you can see that it covers, it's a large size, it covers the whole bike, keeps it warm, and yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna be doing for a video. It's Like I said, it's real short. Um, I'm also gonna be doing here real soon, um, I'm gonna get a Gibby front windscreen for the CB500F and I'm going to be doing that and then I'm going to try to um, hook up a Cine Bluetooth to my Isla Man helmet but I want to be real careful with that so uh, basically yeah so this thing here is like I said it's pretty simple um, I'll just lift this up for a minute and just kind of show you guys how this will work under here so you can get the idea you can see that I got my bike covered pretty good so basically this thing's gonna go I'll pick this thing up here in a second this thing's basically gonna sit like this it's gonna go right up underneath the front wheel just like that this actually will fit up underneath the triple tree. So you just scoot it out a little bit like this here. And you see I got that locking pin underneath there. But you can see it fits right up inside the triple tree right there. And basically all I'm going to do, once I get it straightened out and on the ground, because it's up in the air in the back, I'll be able to lift it up and put it underneath there. And... So, but basically that's how it's going to fit. You can see it kind of like, I don't have it all the way up in there, but you can see it kind of trying to lift the front of the bike up right here on the forks. 
but basically that's how it's gonna go it's gonna sit just like that it's gonna lift it up off the ground the wheels in the clamp right now so it's holding the wheel to the ground and the back of the bikes up off the ground so but basically that's how it'll fit on there and that's my review <laughs> um, like I said it's pretty easy to put together um, it comes with these these different pin sizes right here you get one two three four or five and six you get six of these because I already have one underneath there but basically you can see it's pretty easy and you just like pop this down here this way I don't want it to hit my fender so I'm probably gonna take this thing off once I'm not holding my camera <laughs> but yeah so that's the track side universal wheel stand and basically this is what it fits all the bikes that it fits so I'm hoping that it works if not then because it ain't really lifting the front of the bike up off the ground in the wheel stand so I won't know until I get the back of the bike up down on the ground it probably will once it puts this takes it off the the stand here because like I said I got that way up in the air in the back you can see that but anyways guys that's my review on the front wheel stand and then basically the Oxford bike cover it's a large size so anyways if you guys like my review give me a thumbs up don't forget to get don't forget to leave a comment and please subscribe to the channel um, I'm gonna be doing some other stuff here I my obviously my foot's gotten a lot better so I just got some physical therapy stuff that I've been doing and basically that's it and I'm gonna be doing a little bit more stuff to the bikes as we go along during the winter time so please stay tuned don't forget to subscribe please leave a comment and thanks for watching peace